Shut up and let him continue. All right, all right. You don't need to get so worked up about it, bro. What do you want? Janelle, man. Fuck, she was, that drag made her horny as hell, but uh, I just couldn't get it on, eh? Oh, you had the girl right there, and you didn't get it on. Uh, it just felt wrong, man. I mean, like, yeah, I had this girl there. Eh? I had her drugged up in that. I just, I couldn't get over the fact that I was just trying to get it on with her and fucking get back at Marie. Oh, what's wrong with that? Uh, oh, don't ask, mate, because I don't know myself. Look, it just felt wrong. I'm trying to fuck some girl just to get back at your missus. I've done it. Hmm, I bet you have. Yeah, anyway. Fuck. I just left it there all total day. Eh? Fuck off, huh? Is that true? All of it. Did you tell your wife about it? Are you, uh, are you kidding me? Do you even have a wife? Why don't you leave the questions to me, Chris? Leave him in. Who was she, Chris? Eight hours too fast. Can't remember. So, what's your story then? It's big. Oh, come on! Out with it! So, what was Anwar's secret? It was the biggest lie Anwar had ever told. What do you mean? Uh, the, <coughs> the second question was, um, what is your greatest desire? Anwar told me later that he lied about it. Why did he lie? Well, Brian was always on him about not drinking and stuff. I guess he just didn't want to Brian to think he was a loser. You know, it always bothered him that Brian thought it took the piss out of him for that. Tell me, did Anwar ever express or say anything about causing any harm to Brian? Nah, nah, never. Even though Brian gave him such a hard time? He never told me about it, not to my knowledge. I, it bothered him a bit, like, you know, not to that extent. You sure? As, as I say, as far as I know. <sighs> what shit are you putting on now, Anwar? Bruh, I thought I'd put on some silks, you know? To give my answer some ambience. <laughs> Bullshit, you're just trying to do it. Hey, hey, you're... come on, man. Fuck, it's gotta be better than the crap you keep playing, eh? What is that shit, anyway? Just don't scratch the CD, you mongrels. Fuck, no wonder. Do you guys hear that, fellas? Beautiful. I can now think.
So, where was I? Oh yeah, 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 that's right. My greatest desire would be to sleep with two women at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that's shit, man. Yeah. Every dude dreams of that. Yeah, man. Oh, except you, you just fantasize about it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hey, guys. Can I, like, finish my shit or what? Yeah, knock it off you, dude. Let on my finish. Yeah, I can. Think about it. What better way is there to prove your manhood? Oh, that all depends on the size of your member, bro. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Chill out, man. <laughs> I'm only joking. Why did you stop? I thought it was something criminal that Anwar had done. No, no, not then. Not that, not no. that. Listen, man, uh, is there any chance we can take a break or something? Hold on. Yes, take a 10 minute break. Want a coffee? Oh shit, yeah, kill for one. Uh, no, uh, wrong choice of words, sorry. Um, I just really want a cup of coffee, alright? So, that's it? Yeah, that's all I said. And then we decided to call it a night. Ah. Hang on a moment. What's up? I just had to go once a break. So I want to go grab a coffee for him. What about you? You all? <sighs> Hang on. I'll come out. I could do with a break as well. Hey mate, do you want a coffee? Yeah, sure. I'll just wait here and someone will be back and bring one over shortly. just received word from the hospital. The old man is dead. And your friend's still very much 50-50. So that gives us two bodies. And still your friend in hospital. For now. Listen, none of this was meant to happen. It's just a game of cards for fuck's sake. I don't know how it got this far, but it was never meant to work out that way. The worst regret, let me think. Oh, I know. Definitely seeing my parents doing it. Oh. <laughs> oh. That dead fucked you up. Ooh, that's yuck, man. Right. Is your mama hot? Because it makes a difference. Maori chicks are hot. Dude, you're talking about my mom. Yeah, so? So what if it was your mom? Oh, man, that's just gross. Yeah, see, now you get it. Hey, you ever see that episode of Family Guy of Stewie walks in on his parents? Oh, fuck, that was funny. That little motherfucker and his little cop. Yeah, yeah, straight up, man, I felt exactly like that. Fucked up. It's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. This is some serious shit, Anwar. Don't I know it. Question number three was, not that it was a question, put your deepest desire into action. Hmm. Bet you guys had fun with that one. Fucking oath we did. It was the best part of the game. How did the others get on? They got on all right. But with Brian's take on things, things got real interesting. What do you mean? Well, we had just got back from the movies and decided to go to the pub. 
to like have a couple of drinks before we called it a night. What day was this? One week later. We were having a few beers. Brian comes up with this plan. Um, he says he's got it worked out and uh, uh, basically it's how we're going to fulfill the third question. I got it all sussed up for this weekend. Oh shit. Keep it on, will you? Anyway, uh, Ange is sorting it out with your partners. All right, Ange is going to talk to Marie, my wife, who hates her after that shit she pulled at Mike's party the other week. She's all drunk running her mouth off like that. It was disgusting. Chris, chill out, bro. Let's hear what Brian's got to say. You want a bit of this? Nah, man. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't drink, all right? Do it yourself. So Brian, what's the plan? Like I was saying, Andrew's going to take the girls out for the girls only weekend and all. Ooh, that'll cost a bit, bro. You bet. Anyway, when your girls ask you whether they can go or not, you, sh you all should say yes, but don't be too enthusiastic yes, about it, right. in case. In case they figure out we're onto something, eh? Which we are. Chill, Chris, it'll be okay. That's just you. Ah. Shit, if my wife found out what we're up to, she'd kick my ass from here to Africa. Just think about the teen grand man. If you won that, which you're not going to, because I will, you could buy a trip to Africa. That'll smooth things over nicely, bro. You don't know much, do you? Fuck, Chris, you can pull out if you want, but that just means we won't play less. Bastard had it all worked out. You mean Brian? Yeah. I mean, he, he had all the bits and pieces planned. He had, uh, the girls were going away for the weekend and it left us free to do our thing. Which was... You want another one? No, I'm good. Alright, carry on. Well, before we begun, we, we had to go and get the girls out. The girls? But I thought you said your partners were away for the weekend. Not those girls. The other girls for the party. We asked him to come over to my place for a party. Yeah, and pigs will fly. Shh. So, how, how are we meant to get them over there? Go out the night before and invite them for the next night. And they're just gonna come over, just like that, huh? Like that? Probably not. What are we gonna do, smack them over the head with wooden clubs or something? That might work fine, but I doubt it'd work for us. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Shh. Burn. Man, let's finish up and get out of here before we get kicked. Yeah. Loud man. Okay. Where'd you go after leaving the pub? Mm. Oh, we went and got some more booze. We headed over the beach on a bad day, and we just thought we'd go out there and talk about Brian's plan a bit more. Which was? Well, he had this plan of get, getting the, giving these girls an incentive. An incentive? Like the one that you guys used in the circle, yes? Yeah, yeah, I suppose, but. This well, it was actually Mike's idea. Well, his, the incentive was his, his idea. I mean, you know, like um, you know, like the Oscars, and girls get as dressed as sexy as they can. Well, it was like that, and the girls we were offering, we'd give them a, a, a voucher, clothing voucher, and we'd promise them a great night uh, on the town, all alcohol free, everything like that. Not a bad idea. If I know my wife as well as I think I do, I almost suspect that she was going there as well. <laughs> How do you know she didn't? Yeah, I was just joking, man. So, did it work? Yeah, we went nightclubbing the following Friday night. Chatted up some pretty hard-ass girls. Told them about the party and stuff. A couple of them were interested. 
are still a little suspicious. But the Saturday... The night of the party? Yeah, about seven of them showed up. So what did you guys do? Looking smooth there, Anwar. Yo, Brian. Yeah. Can you uh, make me one of those? I thought you didn't drink, man. I don't, but... But tonight he thinks he's going to make an exception, right? I don't know. Right. Not bad. What is it? I think that's a shandy, man. Nice. Oh, slow down, cuz. you got all night to go, man. Oh, leave him alone, Mike. If he wants to drink fast, let him. We might be in for some fun times if he keeps it up. Hi. Hello. One of these kind gentlemen will get you a drink and there's some finger food. Wow, you have such a nice view from out the bathroom window. <laughs> it's bloody good. It's quite nice, actually. Mike, can you get that? I'm just going for the loop. Sure, man. Sing a, sing a gram for the loop. What do you call them? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, you're alright. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Let's go get something to drink. Alright, as long as you're buying. I need the drinks around us tonight. So what are you girls waiting for? The bed's real nice in here. This is gonna be interesting. Are you sure you can take care of the both of us? Hey 
it got pretty wild after that. Like, I mean, fuck, I was in heaven. Well, then what happened? We slept it off. The next morning we had mean ass headaches. Mike and Brian dropped the girls back off home. Chris and I stayed behind and cleaned up the mess and grabbed some videos to watch. You know, so that the girls wouldn't suspect anything. Then he went and fucked everything up. Who did? Oh, who do you think? If I knew, I wouldn't have to ask Chris. Brian. He had the whole thing planned from the start. Brian, what did he have planned? Ripping off his granddad. Yeah, ripping off his granddad. He hated him. Why? Oh, I don't know. Probably played with him when he was a wee boy or something. I have no idea. He had us by the balls. How? That motherfucker recorded everything that we did that night at that party. So, what about his girlfriend? That bitch was in on it as well. So, you guys were screwed? Yeah. So what happened? You're fucking kidding, right? He's not fucking kidding, mate. Get this plan from the start, didn't he? You fucking wanker. Well, what are we to you? We just corn. $200,000. Money! You fucking sell us out for money. Keep it down, Chris. We don't want the neighbours oh, to hear me. Fuck the neighbours, man. Fuck you, too. You know what would happen to my marriage if Maria ever found out I was screwing around on her? She'd be gone, mate. She'd be fucking gone. Chris, she'll never find out. Fuck! Are you gonna trust this guy? After he tells you that he's got us on tape screwing. Fuck that, man. None of you fucking bastards have got anything to worry about. I'm the one that's gonna have to put up with this shit. Look, man, it's the only way of getting your ghost to help me. Fuck that. You could've just asked us, Brian. It's not like you had to fucking blackmail us. And what about the papers we signed? Long gone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I see where you're coming from. With your particular relationship. I don't see what that has to do with Mike and Emma. They've just got girlfriends, it shouldn't matter at all what's on those tapes. Yeah, if only that was true. You know, like, the fact is Brian recorded some other stuff as well before we uh, started the game. What other stuff? I can't tell you that, man. You'll, do, you'll just have to find out for yourself if you ever find those tapes, which I doubt you will. No, we, we thought about going to look for them. Well, we're three days out from uni starting. Just left it. Fucking satisfied. Fuck you. You want some ice with the hand, Chris? So Brian, what do you want us to do to get the tapes back, huh? Just help me get the turn of grand off my granddad's place, that's all. You hear that, boy? Fuck, now he wants us to go and rob his granddad's place. And he says that's all. Fuck, trying to turn us into criminals now. I mean, after he blackmails us, that's weak. Yeah, Brian, you got it all sussed out, don't you? This morning, we started to drive up here. What time did you get here? Just after lunch. And what time did you arrive at Brian's grandfather's house? About 2 p.m.
Why are you whispering? Shut up and listen. What the hell's that? I thought you guys just didn't know I was supposed to be up. Fuck, what are we gonna do now? Yeah, take this, hi. What's he up to? Put your gloves on. Hello, Grinder. What? Brian. I thought you were up north. Yeah, I thought I'd come and give you a visit. No? It's a long time since you've been here. Yep. Yeah. What are you doing, Brian? Move on, man. What oh, myself, Brian? What's going on? Don't you remember, old man? I don't understand. Well, where's your bandana, Brian? What the, what the fuck's going on? Nothing. The old man's gonna give us a combination to the safe, aren't you, old man? <sighs> I'll do no such thing. Brock bastard, we'll soon change that. Fuck, Brian, he's just an old man. Fuck up. Open the safe. What are you saying? Where the fuck did he get a gun? Did you know he was bringing a gun? No. Hurry up, old man. I haven't got all day. That's it. Move it. This is not the way to settle old scores, Brian. Open it! What's he talking about, Brian? Shut up, get out of it. Listen, we came here to rob the guy. We didn't come here with guns or anything to kill anyone. I told you to fucking stay out of it. You must have shat yourself all these years. Thought I'd forgotten, eh? I did for a long time. But then the funeral brought it back. Old habits die hard, eh, old man? You guys leave. I've got some matters to settle here. I'll be out in a minute. Alright. Your call, bro. Brian, what are you up to, man? I'm gonna teach this fucker a lesson. We've got some history to take care of. Look, man, you better go. This is gonna get ugly. What history? Come on, bro. When I was a kid, my parents used to drop me off here for the holidays. When my grandmother was around, her fucking new husband here used to take me around the back and molest me. Didn't you, fuck? Let me go, Brian. No! Ah, Brian! Let him go, man! That's enough! Like hell, I'm not done yet. What's going on? We heard screams. What the hell is he doing? He's fucking lost his mind. Brian, this wasn't part of the plan. It's part of my plan. Oh, shit. I'm gonna give this bastard a taste of his own medicine and then blow his fucking brains up. Brian! Wait. Why throw your life away on this piece of shit? Come on, Brian, think about it. You guys better leave. This is gonna get ugly. No, Brian, I'm not gonna let you kill him. Think about it. Shut the fuck up. You guys better leave or you're next. No, Brian, I'm not gonna let you kill him. You're gonna be next. So what did you do next? We called the ambulance and you guys. But what about the money? There was no money. There was only fucking paper and crap in the safe. But you guys went there for the money, but right? But there was no money. Brian set us up to help him kill his granddad. The money was just bait. Fuck. 
Shit, man, I think he's dead. What? Ryan, I must have shot him when, the, when we struggled for the gun. Shit, man. Fuck. This shit's really hit the fan now, man. What the fuck are we gonna do? I got an idea, bro. How about you call 111? showed up with your uniforms and ambulances and sorted everything out. Now that both of you are facing a long time for this. Yeah, yeah, I expected as much. Probably not for the murder. But you will be charged for your parts in the robbery. There wasn't really even a robbery. There was no money involved. It was just Brian and his fucking revenge on his granddad. Well, I'm sure that in the course of our investigation, we shall come up with a conclusion on that. You being up front with us is going to help out when it comes to trial. What will happen, I don't know. My best bet is that you will do time. The length of that time will depend on the jury and the judge. As for me, it's time to start doing some serious paperwork. Check with forensics. Let's see if your story checks out with them. I'll see you soon, Chris. Thanks. Looks like you've made bail. Yeah, not for long, though. No. I didn't think so. Looks like you're the only one in this whole damn affair without any blood on their hands. Trust me, I have blood on my hands, Detective. You mean your mate Mike? Anyway, let's get you out of here.